test. Good morning to you. We're going to be real quick. I want to talk about community because when you come to my page, when I'm tackling tough topics like race, like community, like finances, like nine to five, essential work, labor, servitude. When I talk about topics like these, these can sometimes come off as very projective or projecting, but not in a negative way. It's to shed light on the different darknesses that may plague specific communities. I represent specific communities. I am a black man. I am a black man that can speak Spanish. I am a tall, dark, and handsome black man. I am an intelligent black man. I'm a former athlete. Currently, I'm a teacher, an educator, a master trainer. These different communities that I fit in, I will speak on. I'm a dog owner. One of the things I want to talk about when it comes to community is we have to relinquish the false self. Each and every one of us, it doesn't matter our color, it doesn't matter our creed, it doesn't matter our preference, but we have to relinquish the false self because, yes, everybody tends to think that they are the main character in their own story, but I think what we get wrong is being the main character in everybody else's story, and that is not a thing. We, we make things up in our head. So, for example, I'm out walking my dog. I, I usually walk him three, four, five in the morning so that you can avoid any bad energy, right? I have highly trained my dog to whereas when he hears my voice, he makes it happen. Jax, come here. Come here. See that? Sit. Sit. See that? I train my dog in different circumstances, in different environments, in different places. Sometimes he needs his leash, sometimes he doesn't. It's up to me to channel his energy and figure out what's the best possible way that we can walk him, what's the best possible way that we can exercise, what's the best possible way for him to explore. And a lot of times in my specific environment, we have these highfalutin, self-centered, self-indulged, individuals who do things like take the trash to the rubbish room and drop it on the floor instead of putting it in the trash chute. I got plenty of videos where I show you how adults are fucking up the world because of a mindset like that. Not fully finishing the task. We'll do just enough nowadays. And then we'll look at other people and their purview of us only going halfway or only giving half-assed work. We'll look at these people like they're tripping, right? What we also do is maybe it's a community programming, but what we also do is we assume the worst about one another, right? So if I come downstairs with me and my dog, I'm already downstairs, and then a young lady comes downstairs, please don't carry witch auntie energy, thinking that my big dog is going to terrorize you or terrorize your dog. Black people do train their dogs. And that's something that, again, relinquish the false self. We have been debilitated. We have been blockaded. We have been run amok, bamboozled through the self-hatred that we have for one another. And it shows on so many different levels. So many different levels. I've seen this same woman when a couple came out, Asian couple, white couple, when they come out, oh, let me touch your dog and... It's all familiar, and we're all dog owners then. But when you say a black man, how come you're not all familiar and all dog owners then? Mind you, I don't I don't lose sleep or gain sleep by someone projecting their negative energy onto me. But I do think about it. I do observe it, and I do recognize we have a lot of work to do, especially us as adults, because we act like children. Mind you, I'm all the way over here on this side of the courtyard. This courtyard is at least 50 yards, half of a football field. She's all the way over there. You can hear her sucking her teeth. You can hear her, come on, pick up her dog and then walk out of the real estate property, probably to go walk her dog somewhere else. Fine, gladly, because, again, you're not going to make a man feel less than himself because you won't relinquish the false self because you're projecting a lack onto me. You should read Psalms 23 more often, but 
ultimately, I know you guys out there, 18 to 44, you experience this. You experience when you're dealing with people in our culture, it almost feels like you're dealing with the KKK, right? It almost feels like you're dealing with some white nationalists at times when you're dealing with regular black folk. And when I say regular black folk, I mean black folk who should not in any form or fashion have issue with you or create problem with you because our struggles are similar. But what we have now is such a division that people don't even recognize our need for one another. People don't recognize the need for community. And we just continue to walk around like, you're the problem, you're the problem. You're the problem. We continue to point fingers instead of, you know what? I'm the problem. Here's my traumas, right? I'm very, very like my antennas are up. They're super raised in situations like that because all I try to do and project is my love for self, my love for my community, my love for my family, my love for my fitness, my love for my focuses. If I had to admonish you on anything today, it's be yourself. But most importantly, relinquish the false self. You are the main character of your story, but you are not the main character of other people's stories. And too often, we're carrying this crutch. We're carrying these handicaps mentally. We can't do it. They don't like me. They're going to attack me. His dog is unsafe because he's a black owner. And historically, black owners don't get their dogs trained the right way. He didn't take his dog to Georgetown like I did. He took his dog to Southeast. At the end of the day, I'm praying for us all. And I'm praying for myself that I'm able to sustain this energy and maintain this energy to come always deliver videos, deliver content, deliver information, deliver experiences and observations that can bless us all. But I'm interested to know what you think about those experiences and encounters that you have with black people that sort of treat you like you're in the Ku Klux Klan or something. Because we can even talk about how Rap music itself is an auxiliary unit of placation when it comes to how black people see and treat black people. Hip hop music itself, I can arguably talk about certain artists and certain lyrics that when they talk, when they rap, when they make music, it literally sounds like they hate black individuals. Again, like I said, share, subscribe. Please continue the conversation in the comments. This is a safe space. I appreciate you flawlessly, and I love you purely. I thank you for continuing to check on me and check with me. Keep me accountable. See you soon. Almost messed it up. It's me. It's you. It's us. <laughs>